China has released a video which reportedly shows its border clash with Indian troops last June after Beijing admitted that four of its soldiers were killed in the fatal high mountain fight. The footage, aired by Beijing state broadcaster CCTV, is said to capture the bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat between Chinese and Indian forces at the Gowan River Valley, which also resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian servicemen. The official channel claimed the clip showed an Indian army several times the size of the Chinese side launching a violent revenge attack after a Chinese commander had tried to solve the two nations' border disputes through peaceful talks. Share this article Share 29 shares the battle took place after the foreign military openly violated the consensus reached with us and blatantly crossed the line to provoke us, according to the report broadcast by CCTV's military channel. Chinese military revealed on Friday that four of its soldiers were killed in a border clash, the first time Beijing has publicly conceded its side suffered casualties in the deadliest incident between the Asian neighbors in nearly 45 years. The announcement, coming more than six months after the bloody hand-to-hand -hand fighting, should help global audiences understand the truth and the right and wrong of the incident, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying said. Yet the delay also appeared to reflect China's deep culture of military secrecy, as well as concerns over the potential domestic and international fallout from the bloodshed. The announcement that it did indeed lose soldiers comes now that the two sides are engaged in a phased pullback from their original positions following multiple rounds of negotiations. The People's Liberation Army Daily Newspaper said Friday that the four killed were named as official state martyrs and awarded other posthumous honors. Chen Xiaorong, Xiao Ziyuan and Wang Uren received first-class merit awards. It attributed their deaths to fighting in a clash with trespassing foreign military personnel, without mentioning India directly. Chief Abel, a regimental commander from the PLA Xinjiang Military Command who was wounded in the clash, was awarded the title of Hero Regimental Commander for defending the border. China's state broadcaster CCTV shared a 2015 interview with Chi on Friday. In the video, the weeping commander recalled taking care of a wounded soldier. Sijin, editor-in-chief of state newspaper The Global Times, also posted a video purporting to show Chi confronting an Indian soldier. In the undated clip, a man said to be Chi shouting at his enemy, If you don't want to fight, then get out of here. It is unclear if the argument led to the fatal combat last June. Regimental Commander Chief Abel Ward on the far flung country borderline. I think as long as the country needs, a man should live like she and the others, and die like them, who wrote on his account on Twitter like Wade Wall. Chinese dead as high as 
Class 45, and Lieutenant. General Joshi, who commands the Indian Army's Northern Command, said Indian observers counted more than 60 Chinese troops being taken away on stretchers, though it wasn't clear how many suffered fatal injuries. Joshi told Indian Station News 18 that Chinese forces had appeared unwilling to make concessions until Indian forces occupied commanding heights on August. hospital and field reports from the ground. Another security official offered a similar account, saying at least 12 Chinese soldiers were seriously wounded in the incident. Both spoke on condition of anonymity and keeping with government regulations about the test standoff in the Karakoram Mountains began in early May. Indian and Chinese soldiers ignored each other's repeated verbal warnings, triggering a shouting match, stone throwing and fist fights on the northern bank of Pangong Lake, which is marked by eight contested bridges where rivers flow into the water body. By June, frictions escalated and spread north in Depsong and Galwan Valley, where India has built an all-weather military road along the disputed frontier. spilled into Ladakh and ended in an uneasy truce marked by additional clashes. Since then, troops have guarded the undefined border while occasionally brawling. The two countries have agreed not to attack each other with firearms. The fiercely contested control line separates Chinese held and Indian held territories from Ladakh in the west of India's eastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, which China claims in its entirety. It is broken in parts where the Himalayan nations of Nepal and Bhutan sit between India and China. Three thousand. 
2,488 kilometers, 2,167 miles, long, while China says it is considerably shorter. As its name suggests, the lag divides the areas of physical control rather than territorial claims. China remains committed to resolving disputes through dialogue and maintaining peace and stability in the border area, Hua said. We hope to work with the Indian side to maintain peace and tranquility in the border area and promote the long-term healthy and stable development of relations between